guys, it's your girl, Renee Carlson, Seattle, anyway, Renee on Instagram, which is where I mentioned that I got the new Gucci fluid foundation and silk firming serum primer the other day, but for those of you that don't know, Seattle, MUA, Renee, I'm in Seattle. I'm actually on the east side about 20 minutes east of Seattle. We had the historic heat wave yesterday and the day before, I don't think I mentioned this on Instagram even, but Sunday, uh, it was really 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 hot not as hot as Monday but definitely for Seattle area it was I think a hundred and three maybe anyways um my mom and I were at my house because it was cooler and then most of our town lost power and so my mom and I and the dogs laid in the coolest room and all just passed out because what else are you gonna do when it's hot there's no electricity yeah so that was fun obviously couldn't do a foundation review and wear a test just what we're doing today <laughs> the serum primer well it says soak firm soak priming soak priming not firming priming soak priming serum absolutely beautiful it's kind of got a watery texture uh, by the way, I do have a giveaway that is just up on my channel. It's a summer huge giveaway. I don't know. I It felt good going on. It was really lightweight. It did have a little bit of a scent to it and I can feel um, a little bit of tackiness. At least in my opinion. That's just my skin. And this is the natural finish fluid foundation. I got the shade and the shade range was also kind of funky. So there was a lot of shades though. They just are kind of, I don't know, they made it hard to find out. So I got 220N. No, no. We'll see. It has that rose gold. Just absolutely beautiful. By the way, uh, this, whoa, I'm just a mess. This romper is from Express. I did kind of a summer fashion haul in my last video. Definitely check that out while you're here. So I think what I'm going to do, I don't have anything to put this on, so I'm just gonna put it on my hand. It's very runny. I think that color is going dark. So I just have a It Cosmetics flat top kabuki brush. It's a little dirty. And I'm just gonna Okay. I want to know, like, light coverage? Is it light, medium? I am fully vaccinated. Um. <laughs> oh, it's 
see it's hot in here already. So you can kind of see the coverage. What I am going to do now because it is just too hot to sit here and do this and film like an actual thing, but I will put in the description box like my go-to 10 minute makeup routine. I am going to finish my makeup and then we'll do an update in a few hours of this Gucci foundation. So here is what we're working with now. Of course, I had to put on a lot of blush and I had to, I need to get my brows microbladed Again, I got them done five years ago, maybe, but yeah. So I am wearing, in case you wanted to know, the Tarte C Cream Blush in the shade Breezy. It looks kind of intimidating upon first glance. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of scary. But I thought lightly it would look good with my romper. So that's what I did. And of course, precisely my brow in shade 4.5. I feel like this is all I wear usually. I've been testing out this lowish bronzer. I just kind of used it right here with that sculpting brush and just put it right there to kind of snatch my face a little, cause why not? So I've been testing those out. I'm so bad at this. Like other people's hands look better than mine do.
absolutely stunning. I would love some darker or deeper shades than this to kind of achieve that kind of foxy look. Just a little, like a snatched type of situation without getting snatched. Even though I've had Botox and pill. We will be back later to check in to see what this foundation looks like a little later. I think I did okay for today. For Tuesday. I'm so excited to have these key Australia black fades back in my life. I hauled this and another pair that I got on Instagram, but uh, I finally found the perfect lipstick lipstick shade to match this romper. Don't you agree? It's a little bright. It's a little bit more orange than anticipated, but this is Dazzle. So that's what I'm sporting. And I've had the foundation on since I did my makeup earlier. And uh, what else did I do to my face while I've been gone? I put on a little bit of brightening concealer in through there. I've been really enjoying that technique of just putting like a very bright light shade right in the corners. It really does make a difference. But I have some thoughts, final thoughts on the Gucci foundation and serum primer. Serum primer? I'm never gonna get that right. Never gonna get it. I have some final thoughts about the foundation and the primer. Although I don't, you know, I need to try out the primer more. I'm interested to see how it goes with other foundations, of course. And the Gucci Natural Foundation, I do love. I will say that. It's kind of hard to really show like up. I mean, I can, I can get up close and personal if you really want me to but it does have a very beautiful finish that really feels like skin i had a tester of my mom's shade in this foundation and she tried it too and also loved it and so you know she is in her 70s so i'm just throwing that in for you guys because i know that it almost sounds like this video was sponsored <laughs> i wish uh gucci hi i like this foundation a lot this has held up all day for me uh and it's about, I think it's like 90 today. And in Seattle, lately, that's not bad. So it's held up really good. I don't notice any spots where it's fading or didn't blend well. I really just do love this foundation and definitely recommend it to anyone and everyone. Make sure to check out my giveaway video and the other videos that I have. I think that you would probably want to do my 
ranking skin tints for summer. So I will link that below because I feel like if you like foundation, you're gonna wanna know about my favorite and testing out the skin tints. So, love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video next week.